For this question, we need to use the transformer equation, that is, n in the primary, the number of turns on the primary, divided by the number of turns on the secondary, is equal to the voltage on the primary side, divided by the voltage on the secondary side. However, as you look through the question, you'll see we don't quite have enough information to use this directly. We know that n on the primary, np, equals 100 turns. We're expecting to find out n s, that is the number of turns on the secondary. We know that the voltage on the primary is 100 volts, but they haven't told us the voltage on the secondary. Instead, they've told us the current on both the primary and the secondary. So how can we use this to work out, work out our answer? Well, the thing to remember with, uh, with transformers, an ideal transformer, as it says in this question, is that there's no energy loss. That is, that the power that goes in one side of the transformer is the same power that comes out the other side. So therefore, power equals current times voltage. So power equals I on the primary times V on the primary. That is that must that power that is on the primary must also be seen on the secondary. So the, therefore, this must also equal the current on the secondary multiplied by the voltage on the secondary. Now, we can rearrange this to get the voltage on the secondary, which is what we need for our equation up there. So we will get Vs is equal to the current on the primary times the voltage on the primary, so that is the power, divided by the current on the secondary, which we know. So we have the current on the primary is 2.4 amps, that's here, multiplied by the voltage on the primary, 100 volts, divided by current on the secondary side of the transformer, which is 4.8, and this gives us an answer of 50 volts. So therefore we can now rearrange our original equation to get the number of turns on the secondary is equal to the voltage on the secondary divided by the voltage on the primary multiplied by the number of turns on the primary. Just rearrange that equation which will give us 50 over 100 multiplied by 100. So therefore, our answer, the number of turns required is 50, which is answer B.